Welcome to today's lunch and learn session. My name is Markus Götz and I'm the lead architect at Billfinger Digital Next. Today I want to talk with you about edge computing, the combination of cloud and on-premise solutions. I invited my colleague Thomas Steiner in order to talk about edge computing, the benefits, a possible solution design, and the special requirements of our customers which we have to tackle. Thomas is our IoT and big data engineer and he knows all the details. Thomas, great to have you here. Hi. Thanks for having me. And yep, let's look into it. We at Billfinger Digital Next, we are a cloud-born company and our main solution is BCAP, the so-called Billfinger Connected Asset Performance Platform. The idea of BCAP is very simple. We take data from the customers, we generate something, and in the end, the customer gets a, a value. So what kind of data do we take? We take any kind of isolated data from the customer, which could be sensor data from a LIMS, could be SAP data, ERP data, or something else. Then our solution experts with their extensive knowledge process the data, calculate the data, analyze the data, and visualize the data in order to generate an improvement for the customer or any kind of reduction. So a customer could get an OEE improvement, an HSE improvement, some kind of cost reduction, an asset integrity improvement, or maybe also a workforce enablement. All this is running in the cloud. So BCAP uses all the benefits of cloud computing, like scalability, availability, high computation possibilities, and also uh, data durancy. However, the customers still have some concerns about cloud. Um, the acceptance of cloud computing still improves, but when it comes to sensitive data in the process industry, customers still have their concerns. They always ask us, is it really secure to store the data in the cloud? Or they also tell us, yeah, I have bad internet connection, it's not reliable, I need real-time cases and the internet is just too bad. And therefore, cloud solutions sometimes just don't work. Thomas, can you tell me what is the solution or what is the alternative for this? Mm -hmm. Well, it is actually not an alternative. It is more like an addition. Edge computing allows us to uh, use the advantages of cloud computing, but we add an additional layer which brings computation and data storage closer to where it is needed. And with that brings also more advantages. Uh, one of those advantages is that crucial activities which require low latency and special security rules are executed directly within the environment of the customer. A uh, virtual sensor is a good example. It might calculate a parameter based on sensitive data with special security rules and it requires a fast reaction time in operations. With Edge, we can tackle that problem, um, meaning that sensitive data can stay on the Edge device and does not need to be transferred into the cloud. And um, by then uh, using all the data within the environment of the customer, we can provide very fast reaction times. The edge device can also be used for data compression. So if internet connectivity is a problem, we can reduce the needed bandwidth by reducing the amount of data that is sent to the cloud. In addition, Edge also adds offline capabilities to the cloud uh, platform, in our case, BCAP, um, by hosting the main services on the Edge device that is on-premises. When the Edge device is configured like that to send data to the cloud, and there's currently no internet connection available, the data is simply stored on the Edge device, and once the internet connection is back up, it is then uploaded in bulk. Further activities that cannot be done on the edge device, such as model optimization or data aggregation between different facilities is performed then in the cloud. But to be frank, there is no edge computing without cloud computing. Thank you, Thomas. The benefit and the need for this seems very obvious and clear, but what does the infrastructure for the customer look like? What does he have to change if the layer is added of edge? Yeah, uh, since this additional layer is part of the customer's infrastructure, there are some things to take care of on their side. But let's have a look at the edge design first. So on the left side here, we see the customer's OT infrastructure that sends data to the edge device, which we see in the middle. 
Um, we currently support standard messaging protocols like MQTT and MQP, but also OPC UA, both as client server and PubSub. The Edge device itself uh, uses Ubuntu as an operating system and can be a standalone device or a virtual machine. It uses the Azure IoT Edge runtime from our partner Microsoft as a base layer. And on top of that, we can basically build uh, any application. In a basic use case, such applications are, for example, data processing modules that cleans and processes the incoming data, a machine learning module, like, for example, a virtual um, sensor that makes predictions, and after that, a database that stores the data on the device, and then a visualization tool, for example, like Grafana. With the mentioned database, we can precisely define what data is uh, from the database rooted into the cloud and which data should only be available on the edge device. So if we have sensitive data that we don't want to have transferred in the, clou um, in the cloud, yes, this is with our solution not a problem at all. And we can with that also freely choose the aggregation form of the data that is sent into the cloud. However, we need to be aware that the storage on the edge device itself is finite. So if large amounts of data needs to be stored, the cloud is the right place for that. Thanks, Tom. It's very interesting and detailed. Um, you just mentioned some applications. Uh, are there only certain apps which can run on edge or can it be any kind of application? Mm -hmm. um, since everything that we have built is based on Docker containers, we are um, having a very flexible architecture. So uh, all kinds of modules can basically be brought to the Edge device. Those modules can either be containers directly from the Microsoft Marketplace, but it can also be self-built modules like the um, before mentioned data processing or data science Python modules, and even open source projects like in our case, for example, Grafana. So all the components which you just mentioned, which are running in the OT environment of the customer and on the edge device, how do they then communicate to the cloud? Is it coming from here, from edge? And that is correct, yeah. Um, on the right side, we see the cloud here on our slide. Um, the IoT hub in the cloud is responsible for the communication with the IoT Edge hub on the Edge device. The communication is done exclusively via MQP. So in case the customer has a firewall, only one port needs to be open in the firewall, which is very convenient. The communication works uh, then in both ways. So one way the data is sent from the edge device to the cloud if it's configured like that. And in the other way, configurations and also uh, device module and model provisioning is then done from the cloud to the edge device. This then uh, enables us to collect large amounts of data from the edge device. We store this large amounts of data um, in the cloud where we have a lot of computation power and we can train and retrain models. And once they are trained, um, we deploy them back to the edge device. Thanks, Thomas, for the detailed description. Um, sounds really like that the architecture is yeah, future proven and well thought through. However, many customers have, let's say, concerns or restrictions when it comes to compliance and IT security. And they always also want us to follow global standards. Do we fulfill these requirements with BCAP Edge? Yes, absolutely. Um, our architecture for machine learning use cases follow um, the best practices and is also in line with the current proposal from the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. And also when it's used with OPC UA, our Edge is in line with the Namur open architecture concept. That sounds really great. You just told us a lot about BCAP Edge. Do you have by any chance a demo available which you could show us? Mm -hmm. uh, we have a short video in which we can look into where um, we see how data is sent to the Edge device, processed there, and basically instantly displayed on the dashboard. So on the left side here, we see the dashboard. Um, for which I will tell a little bit more in a second. Um, for now, this flow chart is the interesting one since there the data is showing up. 
And on the right side, we have a Raspberry Pi, which simulates a machine, but is actually sending to the edge device. When I start this program, we can now see that data is successfully sent to the edge. And in this flow diagram here, we can immediately see um, how it updates. So the data is incoming, immediately processed, and only maybe a few seconds later is showing up in the dashboard. Right now, the um, dashboard frequency of updating is set to five seconds, but we can also adjust it down to even one second. In this dashboard in general, we are trying to um, observe and control the quality of a product, which here is measured um, by the viscosity. So um, in this case, the customer needs to hold the viscosity on a certain level, but he can only measure it in a lab every three hours. And um, for that, then it is obviously already too late in case there is, um, it is out of its uh, accepted thresholds. So um, we built a prediction that with a virtual sensor predicts the current viscosity that is then updated here, as you just saw it jumping up, um, is updated every minute. And not only it is, um, predicting the current viscosity. It also gives a recommendation that we see in the bottom here um, in at what percentages the pump and the mill are running. This really gives us um, an advantage that in case um, the viscosity is in an unaccepted range, we can still make adjustment to hopefully um, then um, have the product when it is finally done in an accepted range and we don't have to, for example, throw it away. Thanks, Thomas. It was a very interesting and visual demo. Um, so it sounds BCAP Edge is really a, a great enhancement and an extension of our BCAP platform. However, I would assume that, yeah, we have to clarify a lot of requirements with the customers. And if they are interested in BCAP Edge, we will really need to align with them on different steps. Would you agree? Uh, yes, right. Obviously, since we uh, need to connect the customer's infrastructure to ours, we need to basically align on four main things. The first one is that since it's a custom implementation for the use case of the customer, uh, this means that we are reliant on information from the customer. So there obviously needs to be some kind of collaboration so his use case becomes a success. Uh, furthermore, individual security measurements based on the individual IT and OT environment of the customer need to be taken dependent on the customer's needs. Uh, similar to that, individual update and maintenance measures based on the environment of the customer need to take place as well. And last but not least, a suitable and individually sized hardware, for example, like an IPC or a virtual machine, needs to be provided by the customer. And let me add here that the technology is really fast changing and that, yeah, the requirements of today might be totally different in six months and what we define today might be obsolete even then. However, I strongly believe that BCAP Edge is really in, in great and important option um, for our BCAP platform and for our customers because it really bridges cloud computing with the OT environment of the customer and therefore fulfills their special requirements for security and for yeah, also for real-time cases, uh, especially. So that was it for today's Lunch and Learn session. It was very interesting, Thomas. Thanks for having you here and thanks for all the details you showed us. Yeah, thank you very much. So if you're interested to learn more about Bitcoin Digital Next or our BCAP platform and our BCAP Edge platform, just go to our website at digitalnext.billfinger.com and take a look also at the other lunch and learn sessions. Thank you very much and have a great day.